opportunity to write our Emancipation Proclamation. We must choose freedom every day. Our journey is political, psychological, physical, spiritual, and economic. But it also is a journey of hope. It's just an honor that the Where celebration this year, continues to this day. And today it's even more powerful year, than it's been in prior years. So I'm honored to be here. As a young girl from North New Jersey, the hood, grew up in the projects, I never envisioned that I would be at the seat of government making decisions that can help the very community from which I've been a part of for 37 years. As a matter of fact, my anniversary of joining this great city is June 19th. I'm happy that I had the opportunity to come and dance because dancing is one of my favorite things to do ever. There are not a lot of colored people doing dance or feeling discouraged because like not a lot of people like them do it. I was like, this is what I can do. <laughs> It takes a lot of work to put it on. But I was at the meeting a few years ago with community leaders like Jasmine Smith and Mr. Ed Wesley, and there was a determination to bring Juneteenth back to the Park Strip. And this is the year that you made it happen as the citywide Juneteenth celebration. I also wanted to note that there's a basketball tournament right over here, three on three, and I wanted to shout out True Game and Jock Sconers, done mega challenge in the whole community all week on KFAT about Juneteenth and knowing about Juneteenth. This is a day of celebration of liberty and freedom when the word of the Emancipation Proclamation got to the final community saying and letting everybody know that freedom has finally rung. One of the things about Juneteenth is that it's a reminder of how lucky we are to have the freedoms and the liberties that we do. And when we come together as a community to honor that history, it's a recommitment to make sure that the future has the same benefits that we're enjoying today.